Hey Gemini, this is Crystal Rose. I'm a comfy soul. Welcome to the channel. I'm here to do your reading. I'm going to start with Angel Therapy by Doreen Virtue. And uh, if you're interested in any of the decks that I end up using while I'm flying through my reading here, um, there will be links down below in the description. There are Amazon affiliate links if you'd like to purchase through there. I get a little kickback. Thank you so much. All right. Now, let me start your reading and see what's going on with you. Okay. So interesting energy, Gemini. I have you in your sensitivity and fully kicking on into your intuition. There's something about you that needs to let something go though. Uh, might be a relationship that you're already in and I think that you've been getting hints and signs about doing that, but there's something that is fearful. Um, I don't want to say fearful. Let me say this. You're getting intuition. There's something that you've been praying for that, that's been a little heavy for you. It feels like a relationship. And I feel like you need to let go of some ideas surrounding protecting yourself. Because here I have you with your sacral chakra energy that needs to be removed from destructive patterns. So there's something that you're doing that's a repetitive cycle that's preventing you free from being in a relationship. And maybe you know that. Maybe that's exactly what you're doing is trying to prevent yourself from being in a real relationship, right? Because I see you starting off as a beautiful little indigo and all your energy is like, I'm so sensitive and I feel everything and I'm amazing and I know what's up, but like also in charge. And, but your intuition, your signs, your synchronicities, everything in the universe is like showing you a relationship and you're manifesting this, but they're, they're seeing you not necessarily trusting your feelings and they want you to let go of certain ideas you have around relationship. Um, let those go. Release that. What does it say in the bottom here, actually? Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. So if you've been spinning your wheels, trying to protect yourself or do something, just stop. Just relax. Trust that you are taken care of and spirit's got your back. Okay. Um, intuitive feelings and manifestation power. So there's something you know is true. Your intuition is correct. I'm telling you. So, and you already know that. I don't, I'm just confirming what you already know. The thing is, you have to do something forward moving to manifest this into power. It's in your wheelhouse. It's manifesting towards you. You can make this thing happen. So what do you, what else are you doing? Let me see. I feel like you want to share your stability, something that you have going on in your home structure. Maybe you've been single for a while and you've just been working or you've recovered after a divorce because I see you really just doing you and but you want something else you want something new you want another relationship so whether you had a past relationship and maybe you had children together and it didn't work out or you or you you um thought you were going to be with somebody and it didn't work out and you still want to be a daddy or a mommy that's still on the table you can still have what you asked for um Rejection is protection. So whatever didn't work out before just wasn't meant for you. That doesn't mean that you have to shut down and hoard your energy and protect yourself. Um, it just was not for you, right? The thing that's for you is now ready. You're ready for it. The you had to get aligned with it. So I see two things here. I see you needing to step into a new line of work, a side hustle, trying something new, put yourself out there. Um, Number one, that's the first thing. So when you're being purposeful and intentional with your passion, with how you show up in life, with your purpose, that is an excellent way to get on the track of being with the right partner. The second part of this is being in your integrity. You have to be a real person who has nothing to hide. You can show up as the same person in front of people as you are behind closed doors when people 
supposedly don't know what you're doing. You need to be the same person everywhere, even behind closed doors. That's authenticity. That's being real. Okay? A whole healed person who has nothing to hide. Um, that's what makes you safe. That's actually where and how you get your protection from spirit. Spirit doesn't want to protect somebody who's fucking around. You understand? They don't want to be like, yeah, let's bring them their soulmate and they're out there being a hoe, <laughs> right? Like they don't, that's not how they're going to encourage you. They're going to encourage you being a real person, being yourself and showing up in the world. Okay, shining brightly. So trust your intuition, trust who you feel you need to be with and the direction that you're going in. This is the right direction. Let me keep going. They're showing me a past life issue and they want you back in your joy. There's something that shut you down. But it's, it's hit you even harder just because it's in your cellular memory. It's something your soul memory is remembering from a previous past life situation. Um, and Spirit wants you to let that go. You can ask them for help in, in really fully stepping into I deserve and I just needed to learn a few lessons in order to be ready for a real relationship. It was a lesson, okay? Uh, so throw those limiting beliefs out of your head. They want you to cancel, clear, delete all those limiting beliefs and those negative things you're telling yourself about relationships or letting someone in or being close with people, okay? All right, um, show me the past life. Let's go ahead and dive into this for a second. Oh, 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 it's jumping, it's jumping. Yeah, see, this is about being Christ-like. You do know better. The golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Like this, you do know how things should be. You know how things should be, but you need to step into that. Trust your intuition maybe even teach go go preach right go preach the good word go be that thing go be the example trust your intuition you were left behind you felt orphaned and i think that you're in a class of your own is what i'm hearing spirit call you you've been a in a class on your own of your own and i think that whoever you've been messing with before just whoever you were dated or who you were married to before didn't connect with you on the level that made you feel safe. They might have even cheated on you and left. You understand? Um, or maybe you abandoned yourself because you weren't trusting your intuition or following through with what you knew was the right thing, you know? Boom. See? You felt alone. They didn't love you the same way you loved them. They abandoned you. I'm sorry that happened to you. But that does not mean that's always going to happen or that's what's coming for you in your future. That is a past fear you can let go of and was actually really traumatizing in a previous life far more than it was in this life. In this life, you had other opportunities to be supported and take care of yourself because I see you regrounding Native American life. Okay. Let's keep going. Anything else I need to know about this? The more you step into your spirit, the more you battle your old wounds and the healthier you will be. That's it. Trust in faith and forward movement. Trust your spirit. Trust your intuition. That's how you're going to know you're with the right people. Not this story of, oh, I'm just going to find a person I can work with that seems like fun, and we're going to get married and do this thing. It's deeper than that. You need to be deeper than that. You understand? All right. Uh, let's get you a little bit more of a story and then some advice. So this is the Psychic Tarot by John Holland. Just want to see what's coming for you or what, what else is going on in your story. And then I'll get you some advice. So I'm hearing we're keeping it on ice for you. It's like something's ready and waiting for you and it's been there. And they're holding it at a steady temperature so it doesn't rot, basically. Um, but I feel like you also need to thaw it out. Let's see what this is about. Oh, I had a chunk of cards come out. We'll go ahead and grab these. They're saying yes. You have a destiny in front of you. There is somebody that you know you should be with and you're just afraid to go after it or let this person in. 
right? A job, a career, a love. Trust your intuition. This is the right thing. It's going to make you so happy. It's perfect for you. It's thrilling. It's fabulous. You will be hugely successful in doing this. This is the right thing. You just need to speak up, tell your, speak your truth, share how you actually feel. It's going to be fabulous. Right now you're suffering in silence by your damn self, not getting what you want because you're afraid to be in love and be happy and move forward. Whether that's a business you're starting or someone you want to be with, just stay balanced. As long as you stay balanced and you don't overgive and you make sure it's reciprocal and you get to, you know, take your time, friends first, get to know each other. That's, that will let you know that you're safe instead of this running in and running off and getting married or whatever it was you did before, right? Chill out. Rest, regroup, start over. Just recover from the last thing and start again, okay? Anything else I need to know before I grab some advice? Nope. Trust your intuition. Crown chakra. Everything that's coming in here is accurate information. Trust it, okay? All right. Let me grab you some advice from Angels and Ancestors by Kyle Gray. Boom. Haha, -ha, yes. So maybe there's something you saw in your parents or your grandparents, or maybe they you saw them stay in a situation that wasn't right, or you're repeating a pattern that the masculine figures, or you know, if you're the feminine, the feminine figures repeated, and you see yourself following the same pattern, and you're like, damn, I saw that and I, I should have headed off at the past, but now I know. Now is your opportunity to fix it. Now is your opportunity to undo that pattern, right? So move beyond that. You are wise. You have learned. And you can heal this pattern for even your crossed over loved ones through all time and space, forward and backward. Your future children will not repeat this pattern because you're healing it right now. You understand? You're telling me another one. Break, break the mold. Yes. Be brave and honest. Be the knight. You can be open, you can be romantic, you can get back out there and have a wonderful love or manifest a wonderful love um, by being yourself, by being honest and brave. You don't, don't buy into everybody's opinions or what they think you should do or how they think you should function in life or what you should do for work or what kind of partner you should have or be with. Those rules... You know, you have to marry into your culture or you need to marry this type of person that has money because we have money and, and like, forget all that. Trust your intuition. One more. Yes, Lord, take charge with authority. You're in charge. You do you. You know what's right for you. Trust that. Trust it. Lord Jesus, make it happen. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I think you know exactly what to do, and I'm just encouraging you. Rah, rah. Get out. <laughs> Thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. I truly appreciate you being here. Please subscribe if you'd like to see the next video when it comes out. I thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Bye.